And a happy Irish coffee day to everyone out there today. Oh, the luck of the Irish uh, is yes. isn't it? Yes. We're going to make some Irish coffee. Are and, we now? And, and yes, yes, we are. And it, it's very simple. You know, you just have to have the right ingredients. There's one step. That I'm, you know, I'm just concerned about because I haven't done it for probably 20 to 30 years. Anyway, have a cup of coffee, and you have Irish whiskey, of course, mm -hmm. and you have brown sugar, and then heavy whipping cream. You whip it, but you, you know, you put vanilla, a little powdered sugar, but you don't whip it to like whipped cream. It's, right. it's still kind of slightly liquidy. It's a little bit more liquidy, I yeah. see, but it's still creamy, so it's yeah. going to give you that good cream. And that's Got where it. the trick comes in mm -hmm. with the whipping cream. We'll see how that all comes together. But how about we put these together? Okay. Now. I'll tell you what, how about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of brown sugar in here? Okay. All right, in each one of the cups. All right, uh, it's a little crunchy, is brown sugar. That's right, it's going to dissolve. It tends yeah, to do, yeah, but yeah, it will yeah, be it. fine. It will no, dissolve. No, not one in this one. Okay, and this is, you know, this is a great use of the coffee that you have that you didn't drink that's Absolutely. in the coffee pot in yep, your kitchen yep. right now. Okay, now we're going to stir these up to get all of that brown sugar, oh, brown sugary goodness mixed in. I'm going to say that one's good. Now we're going to go with this one. And now right now, these are just cups of coffee with brown sugar yeah, in them. Yeah. All right. Irish whiskey. Now it's where it gets this is where This is where you get the Irish is where you get it from. And you put about an ounce to an ounce and a half in each one. All right. Perfect. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now there's the Irish part. Now. This is the tricky part. You know, you put a little vanilla, a little bit of powdered sugar in some heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to attempt to what they call float. You just kind of pour this over the back of a spoon, and if it sets up right, it should kind of sit down on top. Ah, perfect. I think you've done this before. It's been about 20 years, though, to tell you the truth. You know what? That is all one needs for a good Irish coffee. You don't need to be dressing it up with sprinkly things. No, you and don't. All that no, business. you don't. No, 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 no. You don't have to write your name in it or put a leaf in it or anything no, like none that. Of that. Okay, fancy now business. we'll see if I can do it two times in a row. I'm so excited. I was in Ireland once visiting, and I actually had um, I visited a family, and they made me one of these traditional. Irish coffees, and it was one of the best things I ever had, and they are perfect. I think we've got them there. Oh my. All right, All right. shall we? Cheers. Through the luck of the Irish. There we go. Don't Let's you know. see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what. On a cold day or night like yeah. this one, yeah. there is not much better. Do I have a little melt mustache? There is not much better than an Irish coffee. This, yeah, it, it is really good, and and as I said, with the whipped cream, mm. don't don't do it so it's all fluffy and it sets up. It has to be able to pour like that, but it's still rich and it's still thick. And it slowly mixes down in there. I mean, you can see it; it's still kind of making its way. And if you don't like a lot of cream, you don't have to add a lot of cream. Mm -hmm. If you want a ton of cream, just go to town. But you can see it slowly sort of yep. mixing in. This and is you, you, so good. You know, as far as the sugar is concerned, you know, using so much powdered sugar or so much brown sugar, once again, that's to taste. You don't want it quite as sweet, pull back on the sugar a little bit. Mm -hmm. Same with the whipping cream. You know, I just you went with a standard. You did not add sugar to this, right? Well, we added cream. brown. Oh, no, yeah. You, you had did. powder sugar to it. You added powder but, sugar. But what I did was I. I pulled back rather oh, than make that. it real sweet. Okay. I kind of it, it said two to four, and I so I decided I'll go with three. I'll go right Got in the it. middle, and that seems to work just fine actually. Man, that hmm. is so good, and it's so super easy. And again, if you have a little coffee left over, sometimes you know you make it in yourself an iced coffee or something like that later in the day. This is the perfect thing for the weather we're having right now. I'm this telling is great. you, you might want to make a fresh pot, but if you have a little left, mm -hmm. and you could do this you know, with brandy, sure you could do it with rum, you could. all of those things. Just that whipping cream on top that really kind of sets it off nicely. And if you don't want to put any alcohol in it, then just heat up the coffee, whip up the cream, and make yourself a nice coffee with the cream. It's just delicious. Either way, good work. Thank you very much. This is the second day you've been in charge Two of this first. kitchen and you've Two rocked first. it. Two Works first. Two first. Works for me. Man. All right.